Welcome to DWBI Adda channel. Please subscribe for latest training videos. Hello viewers. Welcome back to the course Deep Learning with Keras. In our previous sessions, we have already discussed about Keras models and layers. And today, we are going to work with the data sets for Keras Deep Analysis. In this session, first we will focus on Keras built-in data sets and finally import a data set from our external source and prepare that for Keras analysis. Let's start with Keras built-in data sets. Data sets are very important for deep learning models. When you are new to Keras and deep learning, certainly you do not want your models to be dysfunctional only because of the data. That's why Keras Deep Learning Framework contains a good number of standard datasets. Keras is offering four datasets for image classification and they are CIFA 10 and 100, MNIST and Fashion MNIST. Then two datasets IMDB Movie Reviews and Reuters Newswear Topics for text classification and sentiment analysis. And finally, Boston Housing Price Dataset for Regression Analysis. Let's go to Jupyter and explore them one by one. The CIFA 10 dataset is used for small image classification. It contains total 60,000 RGB images across 10 columns. So around 6,000 per class. These images are 32 by 32 pixels and are split into a training set of 50,000 images and a test set of 10,000 images. The suggested categories are airplane, automobile, pod, cat, deer, dog, frog, horse, sheep and truck. It returns two types of data, X-Train and X-Test are arrays of RGB image data of 32 by 32 pixels now let's go to the code section. With the Keras dataset API, the CIFA 10 dataset can be loaded to our code. When we run this very first time, the dataset will be stored to our local storage, which is .keras slash dataset. And you will see this kind of execution statement at the time of import CIFA 10. This load underscore data function will directly store the data in train and test set. We can check the shape of the data just using that uh, shape command. Finally, this section of the code will display nine images from CIFA 10 dataset. Let's execute it. In this X train, we have 50,000 observations of 32 by 32 pixel and this three is for the uh, three RGB channels. And for Y train, we have 50,000 observations. And these are the nine images available in our CIFA 10 dataset. While the CIFA 10 dataset contains 60,000 samples across 10 channels, the CIFA 100 dataset has seen 60,000 samples, but this time 100 non overlapping classes. Instead of 6,000 samples per class, it contains 600. For the rest, the structure is similar to the CIFA 10. So I'm executing this one. In X string, CIFA 100 contains 50,000 samples of same 32 by 32 by 3, and in the Y train, the same 50,000 observations. And these are the sample images from CIFA 100 dataset. Now, MNIST dataset. It contains 60,000 training and 10,000 test images of handwritten digits which all are 28 by 28 pixels. We can easily import this from Keras dataset API. This load data will split the dataset and assign those to the training and test set. Let's run it. So these are the sample 9 images. This kind of 60,000 images are available in our training set. The MNIST dataset is used as a benchmark dataset in many studies and in fact it is overused. This fashion MNIST is a drop-in replacement for MNIST. It also contains 60,000 training and 10,000 test images but 
the samples are different in nature rather than digits they represent the classes like t-shirt coat bag dress etc let's run this so they are displaying the sample images of top shoes sneakers now imdb movie reviews data set it is used for sentiment classification this data set contains 25000 movie reviews from imdb labeled by sentiment we can import imdb easily from keras data set api so similar to the previous examples this lab data will assign the data into train and test sets this time we may use some arguments to properly use the data set first one is path if we do not have the data locally this is the path to which imdb will be downloaded num underscore words will consider the top most frequent words anything beyond this value will be encoded as an out of value this is skip top tells keras how many of the top frequent words to skip before starting the count towards number underscore words max len specifies the maximum length of the sequence seed is the random seed value for reproducible data shuffling this star underscore cache shows where some sequence starts ov underscore cache replaces any character that is out of the value finally index underscore from tells keras data sets to index words from that particular index proper use of arguments will help us to do this job easily so i'm just executing this so we have 25000 movie samples in uh, our training set let's go to the next one this data set is another data set for text classification it is preprocessed in the same way as of imdb data set and can be used for classify text into one of the 46 topics the attributes discussed in the imdb are also available in this data set so it contains 8982 samples in a training set and 2246 samples in our test set our final data set is the boston housing price data set which is used for regression analysis this data set contains 506 observations of 13 variables this code snippet is similar as previous except this part we have concatenated y train and y test as y and this describe function will describe all the statistical properties of our y data so i'm executing this so we have 404 observations in our training set and 102 in our test set for this specific case the minimum house price is 5000 and maximum is 50000 and the mean of the house price is around 22000 and variance is 84.586 so that's all from built in data sets now we are going to the next section in this part of the tutorial we are going to import the external data and preprocess this and make this available for deep analysis first we will read the data file which is available in our working directory then we'll convert this to the arrays for our machine to process in next step we will split our data set into input features and the target after that we we'll scale the input features so that they have similar orders of magnitude finally we will split the data set into training validation and test set let's go to jupiter and work with the complete demo in this section we are going to import the data set from our external source this data set house price data.csv is already available in my working directory now using this pandas i'm going to import this data set into a variable df let's display it So this is our house price data set. It contains 1460 rows with 11 columns. 
this data frame format is not suitable for our Keras analysis. So we will just convert this into our arrays. So we will just take the values from our data frame and store this in a new variable data set. So let's check it. Now our data set contains array of numbers. Now we'll split our data set into input features and target. We have total 11 columns. So we will take first 10 columns in X and the 11th one in Y. Let's execute it. Now we scale the input features so that they have similar orders of magnitude. In this specific section, we will import the preprocessing from sklearn. So let's run it. So this is the scaled version of our input features. Now in the final section, we are going to use train underscore test underscore split from this model underscore selection API. First we will split our data into train and test and validation set and the ratio will be 0.3. So 0.7 will be the training set and 0.3 will be total validation and test set. And in the next section, we will split that uh, validation and test set into separate validation and test set. And this time the ratio is 0.5. So 50% data from the test and validation set will be in uh, the test set and 50% will be in validation set. So let's check. So in the training set, we have 1022 observations of 10 variables. In validation set of X, we have 219 observations of 10 variables. And X test set, we have the same 219 observations. So in total, we have 1460 observations in our X. And in our Y, we have the same 1460 observations. Now our data is ready for Keras analysis. We can use this train and test set in our Keras model. So that's all from Jupyter returning to the presentation. Today we have focused on the data sets of Keras. In the first section we have worked with the built-in data sets of Keras and in the final part we have worked with the external data set. So that's all. See you in the next tutorial.